Point is, life hit me like <laughs> And I don't. They left my ass. To myself. What a wonderful world. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I hope y'all feeling good. Today we're gonna be talking a little bit about what y'all see in my title. We're gonna talk a little bit about breakups and how to handle them. And honestly, I feel like everybody's been going through it lately. Whether, you know, I see my celebrities breaking up, my friends and people I don't know going through it with their significant others. Me personally, I just feel like everybody's in a funk. Like, I don't know what's in the air. I don't know what's happening, but I caught it. <laughs> I did. Um, and today I kind of just want to talk about how I've been dealing with it. And maybe a couple people can resonate with what's going on with me or just in general if they've ever experienced it. And maybe this can help somebody out there that maybe is going through a heartbreak. Um, or is just trying to handle losing somebody that they loved. Also, I am in a new, a new setting, a new scenery. Hopefully this changes up the vibe. I don't know. I don't know what the goal was here, but it's also really nice to just be outside and do this and talk about this and kind of have the privacy because my peeps is in the house. Um, and then they're probably gonna watch this, but it's different, you know, expressing this to you guys and talking to you guys about it with no one around, you know? <laughs> Honestly, I, I have my good and bad days. Breakups suck. When you lose someone, it sucks. It's gonna hurt, and that's okay. I feel like I'm not the type of person that likes to suppress those feelings, but unconsciously, I've been doing it. And that's something that I'm trying to work on, which comes with the self-care, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down here, somewhere here. Um, you can watch it. But that's part of where that journey comes from, where I'm trying to invest that time and effort that I was putting into this person and that relationship in myself. And it's amazing, you know, it's great and it feels awesome when I'm doing it, but then I feel like in the midst of doing all these things that I want for myself, I forget to just feel, you know? And I think that's really important too because in order to heal, you need to feel what's going on, right? So another thing that for me, has been important or that I kind of do is let myself feel those feelings when I'm in my feels. <laughs> um, so there's days, you know, where I'll randomly think about it. There's days where I extremely miss this person. I miss the comfort of having someone. Yo aquí hablando en serio and the wind is just blessing me. Espérate. I wasn't ready for that. But yes, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're gonna miss this person. And if it's not the person, you're gonna miss the comfort of having someone, you know? It sucks because I was so used to doing these things with that person and it's no longer there. So obviously there's gonna be some like little withdrawals, which is cool. Let yourself feel that. Like I cry myself to sleep sometimes, low key. <laughs> we are going to pretend we didn't hear that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Nah, but you know, there's days where I cry, like, that's cool, it's fine. I'd rather let myself feel that and deal with it rather than suppress it and then it pop up in ways and times where it's not needed, you know what I mean? And I feel like other people sometimes deal with it in very different ways. And this is another topic I wanted to discuss, right? I feel like in this generation, a lot of people get out of a relationship and get into something new very quickly. So this rebound thing is like, I feel like it's a norm. And I feel like that's not me, right? And I've had a lot of people give me advice, like just go out, like go date, have fun, enjoy your summer. If not, go get a free meal. Like this is really the advice I get. And I feel like that's just not me, right? Like I don't like to play with people's feelings. I don't like, I don't like doing things that I don't like being done to me, period, right? So I'm not gonna sit here and like go on dates to get a free meal or like 
go out with someone I know that could be interested in something more because that's unfair to the other person. And I just, like, I'm not gonna get enjoyment out of that. But I feel like sometimes I don't fit in this era that I'm in <laughs> and how things function when it comes to relationships because I'm very much of a relationship type of person and like playing these little games I don't know and it's not little games because I'm single and I can go out and I can do as I please but for what <laughs> for what what I'm trying to say here is don't feel pressured to deal with or cope with something the way that I guess is the norm of society these days because I personally can't do it we all got flaws and there's two stories to every situation but either way I feel like you play your part and whatever flaws you had in that relationship before you get into another one you should work on the things that were holding you back from progressing in that one because you're gonna end up in the same situation you feel me so what's like what we doing just wasting time like what is this and I don't want to sit here and talk about what's your favorite color and what's your hobbies and what are you passionate about like ain't nobody got time for that and along with that and also something that I mentioned in my last video I started therapy mainly because there were things that I noticed in myself that I want to work on before you know I do end up being in another relationship and I'm I want my shit to be successful like I'm a four lifer I'm a four lifer type of person <laughs> So I know there's things that I want to work on and I'm hoping therapy can help me and guide me in the right direction to fix those things. But in sum, guys, this, these are the things that I kind of wanted to touch upon and I think in general, regardless of where you're at, how you're feeling right now, it will get better. Push through. You will be fine and this is a temporary temporary feeling and I would say don't let don't let that taint your view of love and don't let that make you bitter I feel like love is love is worth that risk every single time <laughs> and it sucks when it ends like this but don't be that person that becomes bitter because of a heartbreak just learn from it <laughs> Oh, my hair. I would say, you know, take what you can from that experience and let that make you a better person. And hopefully, you know, the next time around, that works in your favor. <laughs> Don't forget to love yourself, prioritize yourself, grow, want, you should want to be better. You'll figure out what works best for you and how to heal and how to cope. Sending love and positivity your way. Focus on you, queen and kings, if you're watching, guys. Know your worth. Enjoy your summer. Don't fall into this pit of sitting in sadness and regret and wallow in your sadness, you know? Forgive yourself if you were the one who did wrong. Learn from it. Grow from it will get through it I hope you guys got something out of this at all <laughs> I don't know I hope it was helpful in some way or made you smile made you feel like I'll be fine and I got this because that's the goal of the video or my intent of talking about this topic along with just being transparent with my viewers but thank you guys so much for tuning in you guys are awesome. I love you guys. Stay tuned for my next video. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Hello. Testing. Testing, testing. Uno, dos, tres. Que lo que. Tú y yo. Estamos aquí. Tú viéndome a mí. Oh. <laughs> that was fire. Go like, comment, and subscribe, please. And, and thank you. I love you guys. Peace. What a wonderful world.